I'm Ty Quinones. Right now on your 13 Action News update, well, tomorrow Clark County commissioners may vote to change the name of McCarran International Airport to Harry Reid International Airport. The airport's name has come under question again because of what some are calling Pat McCarran's legacy of alleged racism and sexism. Governor Steve Sisolak is showing his support in the name change. Sisolak writing in part, quote, well, Senator Harry Reid has never forgotten who he is or where he came from. He has spent his life and his career lifting up Nevada to what it has become today. However, though, still some opponents feel that Reid is too partisan to replace the McCarran name and that McCarran is also a very important historic name for the Valley. Well, utility workers and also those 70 years or older can get their vaccine at the Chunk Minker, Chuck Minker Sports Complex this week. Uh, the complex will start administering vaccinations this Wednesday. It is located at North Mojave Road, the city of Las Vegas, and also the Southern Nevada Health District are teaming up to offer vaccines at the site. It will be open through this Friday. And Nevada Health Response says that severe storms across the country could actually delay vaccine shipments to Nevada. Officials say that they are monitoring it closely and also working right now with health districts and pharmacies that may be affected. While much of the country sees winter weather, our conditions to start the week were fairly mild. Seasonal temperatures in the 60s under a partly cloudy sky. But we are going to see our own weather worry pick up heading into the middle of the week. A cold front dropping through that will clear our sky with a lot of sunshine ahead. But it really picks up the wind ghost gusts both Tuesday and Wednesday. We expect gust speeds to approach 30, 35 miles per hour, which is nuisance wind. Uh, we'll relax that heading into the end of the week. Danny, thank you. That was your 13 Action News update. Remember, you could always get the latest news at KTNV.com.